Let's talk real life superpowers. Mm -hmm. So you've probably been taught that there are seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, and that is 100% true. But in this video, we are going to be talking about how it's not just those seven. That there are many gifts of the Holy Spirit, and that the Holy Spirit can give us so many gifts, and He just wants to. So this video is going to be about how we get those gifts, and how we can live those gifts, and what those gifts mean to us. The traditional gifts are in the book of Isaiah in the Bible, and they're in Isaiah 11, and they basically list what the gifts are to be used for. The gifts that you can find in the book of Isaiah are wisdom, understanding, knowledge, counsel, piety, fortitude, and fear of the Lord. The traditional gifts of the Holy Spirit are the gifts that we accept at our confirmation day. So if you haven't received confirmation yet, you have that to look forward to. You've got all these seven gifts of the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit is just ready to pour down upon you. And if you have received those gifts through confirmation, then you've got it. Now you just have to open the windows, so yeah. to speak, stir up the nice little mixture of Holy Spirit, and then bring it to the world. Because the traditional gifts of the Holy Spirit are there to help you fulfill God's mission for your life. It's to fulfill God's plan for you. And use those gifts to share God's love with everyone else. Like, don't hold them to yourself. Oh. God gave them to you to share. God likes sharing. That's the whole point of these gifts. Like. They don't do much good for yourself. <laughs> you, you gotta further the mission. So in talking about these gifts, we also can read on further in the Bible into the New Testament where Paul talks about some more gifts given by the Holy Spirit after Pentecost. Now, these gifts are awesome. They're like my personal favorite gifts because they're super cool and they make us like superheroes, which is amazing because we can be superheroes for God, because God gives us the power to be superheroes to the world. I mean, like, not superhero in the sense that, like, I have all the glory, I have a statue built of me, I've got a like, nice long cape, and I always save the girl. That That's not the kind of superhero we're talking about. We're talking about the kind of superhero who dies to themselves and lets the Holy Spirit just work completely through them. Yeah, and like, ultimately saves souls. Yes! Save souls, not bodies. <laughs> I mean, the bodies are good too, which is why the gift of healing is a thing, but the soul is the ultimate end. We want to get that soul to heaven. And the charismatic gifts, or the St. Paul gifts, or the Romans gifts, or whatever you want to call them, gifts, are the ones that will help do that. Now these St. Paul gifts can be found in Romans chapter 12, verses four, through 11-ish, you can continue. You could really just read the whole book of Romans, but you could really read the entire read Bible. Read the whole Bible. <laughs> but the part that talks about the gift specifically is Romans chapter 12, verses 4 through 11-ish. And these gifts are super cool. And actually, should we read it? Should we read it? We can read it. We can read it for you. Yeah. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are varieties of ministries and the same Lord. There are varieties of effects, but the same God who works all things in all persons. But to each one is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, and to another the word of knowledge, according to the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit, and to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit. And to another the effect and to another the effecting of miracles, and to another prophecy, and to another the distinguishing of spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, and to another the interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually just as he wills. So, pretty cool. And, okay, so this is a huge misconception that a lot of people think. They think, well, okay, those gifts are a thing. But those were for the apostles, like, like those are inaccessible, we can't get those. But no! We can! And the Holy Spirit wants so much to give them to us. We just have to accept it. Like, it's, it's really that simple, just be open to them. 
and then he wants to give you, well not give you the power because he's the power, but if you let the power work through you, you can do works, which is cool and superhero-like. What's neat about these gifts is that they're not limited to like set things, so to speak. Uh, these gifts the Holy Spirit just sort of gives and like yeah there are names for certain things and that you could be given one gift and not another but also like if you're open to the Holy Spirit like anything can happen so it's not limited to a certain number of gifts it's not closed off it's it's very open it's like a spectrum like some gifts lead to other gifts and lead to even more gifts and then there's a, a different like completely different area of gifts that do the same thing and then you could like he could give you one for a certain time and then it doesn't really show up again which is fine like you might need to work a miracle which is crazy but awesome but the saints did and we're all called to be saints so why not why not <laughs> so that could happen but then it'd be like oh the holy spirit doesn't need that to happen again so it's not like your gift it's just what the holy spirit needs for a time. But there are also some other gifts like tongues where it's sort of like a prayer language so you can just sort of use it which is really nice because it's very intimate because you don't know what you're saying so it's cool. <laughs> but these charismatic gifts or St. Paul gifts or whatever you want to call them can be separated into two categories which I'm going to read off for you that way I don't mess them up. So first we have the knowledge or word gifts, it's sort of either or, which is like the gift of wisdom, which is different from the traditional gift of wisdom. It's just a bit more Holy Spirit filled, so it's, it's much more specific, much bigger. It's got like a different spin, but I don't have time to go into all of that in this video. But if you want a video about the charismatic gifts and what exactly they are, Write some comments, give us a like, that way I know that you're interested, and then we can totally do that for you. She's passionate. I am very passionate. Yeah. So the word gifts, or the wisdom gifts, are like wisdom, understanding, knowledge, counsel, just like the traditional gifts, but still like that extra ingredients thrown in there. There's an extra little mix that happens to make it pop, make it extra special. And then... Um, there's also other gifts, um, the gifts of communication or utterance, which is like I said, the gift of tongues, or oh, which have two like subtypes of tongues, and then there's also interpretation of tongues, and prophecy, and stuff like that. So that's super cool, and also really special. But then there is a third type of gifts which is the dynamic slash power gifts, which are like a gigantic faith, like a huge faith, like this is what we're meant to do, and I don't know why, but yes. Very powerful. Yeah, like this is true, this. And it doesn't make any sense why they know it, it's just the Holy Spirit going that. And you're like, okay, let's do it. Or it could be like gifts of healing or miracles. Those are the type of like power gifts. In addition to these more charismatic gifts, there's also gifts in Thin Romans that are called the motivational gifts or like administrative gifts, which are more bringing the gift to others. So it's like a ministry gift. So these are gifts like prophecy or which is also different from the other prophecy, but uh, the words get confusing because it's just the Holy Spirit. So. So these motivational gifts are talents. So they're given to you at birth, but they're meant to help you bring others to the faith and help save their souls and help bring them to a greater understanding of everything. So these are gifts like teaching and pastoral work and that sort of thing. They're basically like the meaning of your life. Yeah, they're like administrative gifts, like those sort of gifts. There's music which can also be a different gift, but again. Human words are not very good at describing yeah. the Holy Spirit. <laughs> These gifts are called charisms a lot of the time, 
which is basically just a way of saying like this is your way of giving to the church which it's sort of like your duty your mission your like your way of helping to further the gospel within the world this is just like the briefest overview yeah, of the holy spirit just an ever and we because we wanted to do this because we just passed pentecost and we were all like really excited because pentecost is my Party. favorite i love it so much it's amazing yeah don't lose sight of pentecost yeah. even don't. though it's past yeah it's, it's not really past it's pentecost is never past when you have the gifts of the holy spirit that enable you to be a superhero yeah <laughs> yeah so with all of that being said I hope you guys really loved this video, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, just more in depth about the different gifts, then comment below. We'd love to hear your suggestions, all that. Yeah, and if you have any questions about anything in the video, or if you're like, maybe that's not quite, feel free, write a comment. Like, I'd love to talk to you about it. I am not an authority figure on this. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, but I will probably be going to a priest or some other person who's high up there who knows what they're talking about to give you an answer. So yeah, I want to make sure that everything that we say is the truth. So if you have any questions, feel free to write them down and send them to us and we will try to get back to you with a good answer. If I don't know an answer, I will definitely ask someone who will and get it to you. Yes. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Yes.